Samsung, Redmi, OnePlus, Google Pixel. Yeah, so many brands and so many petals. I can't do this no more. Just can't. You guys need to help me. So let me tell you what is happening. I'm planning to buy a new Android phone. And as you've seen, I'm absolutely confused. So today now, it's going to be the other way around. I am going to show you my research and on the basis of the best Android phones of 2023, you guys will help me decide which one I should buy. So let's start. Our first phone is Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is the ultimate Android phone, guys. It has zoom capabilities that will simply blow away anything we have ever seen before from a mobile phone camera. Thanks to the 10x optical zoom and up to 100 times digital zoom, which actually delivers usable shots. The other highlight is, of course, the S Pen stylus, which for this model is included with the phone itself and also has its own slot, just like on a Galaxy Note, and creativity as well. On top of this, the Galaxy S22 Ultra has a superb screen, oodles of power and more tech and features than you can even imagine. Nothing is ever perfect and that's why let me mention bit of the con as well. The battery life could be better and it sure as hell is expensive. However, Android excellence comes at a cost and for power users, it's well worth the price tag. Google Pixel 7 Pro Guys, night or day, the Google Pixel 7 Pro effortlessly captures stunning images. And that is why this is an ideal phone for all the photography enthusiasts out there. In fact, the Pixel Pro is capable of a number of things that none of its rivals have even attempted. Literally, the Pixel 7 Pro has superior hearing. It improves speech recognition, which increases the usefulness of Google Assistant as well. And also, calls will soon start sounding better. The phone also uses real tone technology to improve skin tones and improve images in more ways than one, including clarity and inclusivity. Speaking of the individual con, the battery life could be better. But every other feature makes this phone an absolute winner. Samsung Galaxy A53 Budget priorities are being established and the Galaxy A53 has everything organized. With its enormous camera array and four unique lenses, you have a ton of alternatives. Also, the phone is water resistant and has a fantastic screen and long battery life as well. What you receive with this phone is pretty outstanding considering the price. The screen on the Galaxy A53 is very appealing and has the same resolution and refresh rate as the S22, which means you have quality display at all times. The photo taking abilities of this phone are quite excellent. Trust me on that because I've used it. It contains a 64 megapixel f1.8 main camera along with a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide lens, a 5 megapixel f2.4 macro lens and a 16 megapixel f2.4 depth camera. Which means you have quality pictures and videos at all times thanks to this phone from Samsung. Google Pixel 7 Similar to the Pixel 7 Pro, the Pixel 7 is equipped with Google's most recent Tensor G2 processor, which when combined with Google's customized version of Android 13, results in a gratifying user experience, guys. It makes routine cores a lot simpler. The design of the Pixel 7 feels well thought out and expensive as well. This phone is more comfortable to hold and more pocketable than its predecessor thanks to its smaller 6.3-inch display size and thinner bezels compared to the Pixel 6. The cameras are housed within an imposing aluminum band that helps the phone stand out from the competition, especially in its price range. OnePlus 10 Pro OnePlus 10 Pro features a 6.7-inch AMOLED display with 1440 by 3216 pixels resolution. The screen has an aspect ratio of 20 is to 9 and a 120Hz refresh rate, including a 526 ppi pixel density, which ensures that you get great display at all times, whether you're playing a game or binge-watching your favorite show. The Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection also ensures that your phone is properly protected. For security purposes, the phone comes equipped with an in-display fingerprint sensor. The device also has a software-enabled face unlock option. 
Talking about the phone's camera, it has a dual selfie camera setup in the front, which is included in a punch hole located at the top left corner of the display. The phone has the alert slider at the right, while the volume rocker keys are placed towards the left side of the handset. If there's one thing that OnePlus always guarantees, guys, that is high quality pictures at all times. This phone comes with a 48 megapixel plus 50 megapixel plus 8 megapixel 3 camera setup at the back and a high quality 32 megapixel front camera for quality selfies at all times. The top models will excel in most of these areas, but what's important is we decide which one we should buy depending on our needs. I have almost decided which phone I want to buy, but I want to see what you have to say. So, Keep watching this space for more such content and definitely share your thoughts that which phone I should buy. In the meantime, I have to make another very important decision. Which crush of mine should I text with that new phone? Sheila, Munni,